Dear Diary, we have got off to a great start here at Banbridge Town, unbeaten in our first three games, including two in the cup, largely thanks to me figuring out how to find some good players to come here. The rules in Northern Ireland are very relaxed in terms of getting young players into the club on loan, so I have abused that loophole and assembled a decent squad. So much so, we are now no longer predicted to finish in the relegation zone. Lucky that is the case because a few players have left us after we couldn't agree terms to renew their contracts here due to a lack of a wage budget. So yay for loans, right Teddy? I'm travelling shortly as we play our second game of the league season away against the Bally Makash Rangers who have a scary pirate flag logo. Don't look Teddy, you might have a nightmare while I'm gone. They are newly promoted and haven't got off to a good start. So while predicted to finish above us, I'm hopeful we can kick their arrows. Right, time for a quality bus trip with the team. Lads on tour. Until next time. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of FMOE here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and coming up today we take on the Bally McCash Rangers in the league. It's our first away trip of the season. Hopefully we can stay on top of the league and try and put those thoughts of relegation behind us nice and early. So if you are looking forward to today's episode then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying this series here on the channel also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but hopefully that intro that we are doing for this series has caught you guys up on what has happened since we were last here for that first game in charge in yesterday's episode. If you missed that one, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Since then, we've played two more games, one in the league and one in the second round of that Northern Irish League Cup. We have won them both. We beat Dollingstown 4-0 in our first game of the league seasons. That was a great start, especially at home. So a good start for us there. And then rather surprisingly, a 3-2 win against Harlan and Wolf Welders. They are a team from the division above us. So a 3-2 win there away from home. That was quite good, especially because we did rest a few of our better players for this upcoming league game. So it was a little bit of a rotated team for that game. So a really good start to life here. At Bambridge Town, very tasty matchup coming up in the third round of that League Cup because our opposition is the other team which we did have a job interview for in the first episode of this save earlier this week. It is Dundalla, another team from up in the Championship. So I think that's the game we're going to come back for come the start of next week if you're unaware of how things usually work here on Sean Does FM with the video uploads. I do tend to take weekends off UK time just to recharge the batteries and whatnot. So that should be the first episode coming up next week. Interesting matchup there against the team, which we potentially, if we interviewed a little bit better, could have taken over. Also, I don't think our coaching qualifications were quite up to standard for the second tier of Northern Irish football at the initial stages of this save. But nonetheless, that is a tasty matchup. And today we take on a team newly promoted to this division in the Bally McCash Rangers, as you would have seen through the intro. They have just struggled a little bit early stages in this season, but it's going to be interesting to see how we do get on in our first away trip of the league season, albeit since you were last here, we have really gone in hard on the loans. And if we go over to the team, it does look quite considerably different than it did in yesterday's episode. You will notice quite a few blue players in the starting lineup. As mentioned in the intro, as long as you loan in players under a certain age, you can pretty much just get in as many players as you want. So we have really taken advantage of that. And because of that, as you would have seen also in the intro, our season preview, the odds that the bookmakers set, we have come in quite considerably and are no longer in that relegation zone. So a few new players that you need to keep an eye out on. In this game coming up in today's episode, Jack Harvey is our right back option for this one. He is in on loan from Glen Avon, so a fellow Northern Irish team. We'll see what he can do. The only one and a half star rated in terms of stars but does look a little bit better than Joshua Swan, who is here from Luton Town in terms of his attributes for that wing-back role, but nonetheless two decent options there. At right-back, we've got Harrison Sodjay at left-back. He's here from Leighton Orient. Very, very good left-back for this level, three and a half stars. That did mean we were able to get rid of Mark Johnston, the player 
who was using up that leftover wage budget, which the rest of it was going on Connor Downey. So we are back on the good side of managing the wage budget, but still finding it quite hard to sign a player permanently here or as permanently as we can at semi-pro level at Bambridge Town. The midfield is quite similar to what it was in yesterday's episode. Connor Downey has gone back to being a left wing, but Jack Hill comes in. He has just recently joined us on loan from Gloucester City. Can play right back, but for this game, it's going to be a right winger. That is because a player who has actually really stood out since you were last here as a right winger is injured for this one. That player is Ronan Keller. He is on loan from Carrick Rangers. Love look of him early doors in this save, 19-year-old Northern Irishman. He's got two assists in those games that we have played since you were last here, and generally looks like a really good creative playmaker for us, despite the fact he is out on the wing, but unfortunately is going to miss this game in today's episode through an injury, so that is why. We do have Jack Hill stepping into right wing for this game. And ideally, though, we might play him at right back when we do get Keller to return, and up front, McCavitt, of course, is going to be there, but alongside him these days, we have Lumi Kamwai. He's come off the bench the last couple of games and really impressed. Here's the 22-year-old who we have loaned from Crusaders, another team here in Northern Ireland. So we're going to give him a start in today's game. The other option that we do have down on the bench on loan is Max Fisher, who I think might be a name which might be familiar to a few of you if you watch other YouTube saves. I think he's featured a little bit over the past few years. He is on loan from Tranmere. Does look decent, but so far when starting, hasn't provided much impact, unfortunately, but nonetheless, it just has meant that with those loans, we have added quite a bit of squad depth, and that is the reason we have gone up that list in terms of the season preview a little bit, but so far, life at Banbridge Town has been pretty good. Ideally, we'd actually be signing players who would be here as our players, but loans are not the worst idea, especially with the way that it does look like trying to sign players at semi-pro clubs does work. In Football Manager 2023. And as mentioned earlier today, we take on the Bali Makesh Rangers, a team newly promoted to this division for the first time in a little while. They have been up here before, but it has been a while. They have got off to a little bit of a rough start this season, getting knocked out in the first round of that League Cup and then a draw in their first game away from home, albeit that's not a terrible result. But still, we do look like we are in better form than these guys at the moment, albeit, as I said earlier, it is our first away trip of this save in the league. So it's going to be interesting to see how we do get on here against the team predicted to finish just a little bit above us on that rejigged season preview. And we'll come back shortly and play the game of today's episode as we travel to the Bluebell Stadium and take on Pirate Flag FC, aka the Bally Macash Rangers. And a quick look at the team sheets for this game in today's episode. There are the Bally Macash Rangers playing a 4-3-3, quite a narrow formation, which does look quite similar to what we did face in yesterday's episode against the police. And there we are, as I mentioned, our right-hand side. A little bit rejigged with that injury, but apart from that, it's pretty much our first choice 11 these days. And hopefully, we can continue a good start here to our time at Bambridge Town. And just shy of the half-hour mark, the first highlight in this game is a free kick in a dangerous area here for Bally Makesh. It's right on the edge of the box, and there is no stopping that effort from Jonathan Newell, and we go down early. It's been a pretty quiet game so far. We might have just had the edge in terms of stats, but that will count for nothing. The goalkeeper there is just rooted to the spot, curves that around the wall, and we go 1-0 down there in the first highlight of the game, albeit right off the back of that. We are down the other end here for a highlight, potentially in our favor as we try and get a shot off there. It is cleared away by Bally McCash, but we are still on the attack. Sodjay. Puts a ball there into the mixer and Stephen McCabot already with his fifth goal of the season. Our star striker and we bounce back immediately off the back of conceding this one and make it one all right on that half hour. Mark Sodjay who has picked up a yellow card. Hopefully we can get him through that for the rest of that game. But a nice ball there into the mixer. McCabot nice header into the top left corner and it's one all after 30 minutes. And a few minutes shy of half time, we are back in position here. We pass that one back to our goalkeeper in Hunter. He hoofs this deep, and hopefully we can get on the end of that through Conway, but unfortunately, just a little bit of a loose first touch there. And then down the other end, it's a poor missed header there from Steers. Moore will get a chance. He puts that one away. Does Michael Moore, and a defensive error leads to Bally McCash making it 2-1 here. Just shy of half time, and that is a tough time to let them in right before the half. It's a poor miss to there from Steers, one of our men in on loan and from there for more with a good finish. 
and it does look like off the back of that we might be going into the sheds at halftime with a 2-1 deficit in our first game away from home, albeit right back down the other end here for a throw-in inside the final third. Oh, Gallagher there with a shot, but unfortunately that one goes quite comfortably over the bar, and that will be half-time here in our first away trip in the league this season. In terms of our performance, it's not too bad. We're getting off more shots. We're slightly more dominant in possession, but unfortunately our shots, the XG not quite as high as that of Bally McCash, and we are down by two goals to one at half time. There are a few players who are struggling. One of them is Dylan Snodden, so we'll make a change there. Kevin Anderson can come on for him. And also Jack Harvey, not doing too well at right back. So Joshua Swan, the guy who is in on loan from Luton Town, can come on for him. So two subs used at half time. And hopefully that will give us a little bit of a kick in the butt here as we get into the second half. We get back underway, trailing by two goals to one. And only a few minutes into the second half, we do have an early throw in here, which Swan will put into the mixer. He'll put this ball in there, and it's Connor Downey. He will put that ball in the back of the net. What you would expect, of course, from a player that we are paying a wage to. Of course, that is partly because of the fact he is a pretty good physio as well. But Swan there put that ball in from the front. It's a good ball in from Hill, and Downey heads that into the top right corner. It looks like we might potentially have a little bit of aerial dominance, and we make it two all early in the second half. And just about to enter the last 15 minutes of it, this one, I did just realise that, of course, that goal that we did concede before half time was through a bit of aerial failure, so not too sure what I was talking about there with some aerial supremacy, but we're going to take off Sod J on that yellow card, and also down to a red heart, we'll trust this depth that we have added to the club through all those loans, and Joshua Quinn can come on for him, Still locked up at 2 all with just over 15 minutes left. And we're just about to enter the last 10 minutes of this game. It is a throw in here for Bally McCash, but Cowan does well there to get the ball back. Morrison will clear that one away, but then Anderson will play that ball up for Quinn. Downey should get on the end of it. Can we create a chance here to try and grab a lead with 10 minutes left? Hill there with a header. The goalkeeper just parries that onto the post, and the defenders do clear that one away. So we nearly go in front for the first time. In this game, I do think we should make a change up front, though, albeit I think McKevitt's a little bit too important to be taking off. Unfortunately, today, Conway just not performing as well as he has been when coming off the bench. So because of that, we will give Max Fisher a chance to try and stake his claim and hopefully perform well for the first time since we have got him in on loan here at Banbridge Town. And with just over 10 minutes left, still locked up at 2 all, and we may as well just risk things a little bit here. We'll go on positive. For the later stages of this one. And we've just entered injury time in our first away trip in the league. It did look like we might get out of this one with a draw, but now Smith has the ball inside the box. He rockets that over the top of Hunter and goal. And unfortunately, I think after all that hard work to come from behind twice in this game, we might end up getting nothing out of this one. A goal there to Smith with only a few seconds left. He gets off the shot. It's not a great effort from Hunter and goal, but still a lot of power on that one. Don't think it would have made much difference, even if the attempted save was a little bit better. And unfortunately, that was the last play really of that game. Quite an even one, you could argue. We actually had the better of things, certainly in terms of shots overall and XG as well. Quite even, but in the end, I guess that suggests we need to be a bit more efficient with our shots in front of goal. It's not too bad of a performance. Certainly a lot of encouraging signs there away against a decent team, but probably a game we should have got something out of, but in the end they grab a late winner there, do the Bally McCash Rangers, and we lose our first game in charge here at Banbridge Town 3-2, but still not in a bad position on the league table in fifth with three points from our first two games. And back in the inbox off the back of a pretty harsh defeat there late, I feel like quite an even game, but unfortunately Bally McCash Rangers just a little bit more efficient in front of goal, but certainly we are looking like a decent side in this division, which is certainly a bit better than what I was expecting when we did take this job on, when of course we were predicted to be the team which did finish bottom of the table, and we do still have about a week left in the transfer window as well, so we could still bring a few more players into the club on loan, ideally maybe another backup goalkeeper, as we do still have a few players who are in the bid from other teams, and that is because despite the fact we did get rid of Mark Johnston, which I thought might free up a little bit more money to keep some players at the club or even try and sign some 
the most that we can offer players still in terms of an appearance fee or any sort of bonus or things like that is just one pound. So it's not really working out. We can't renew player contracts. So that makes it really difficult to try and keep hold of players. The player who might be on his way out of the club is one of the McCavitts. Thankfully, not the very good one, but still one with quite a bit of potential. That is Michael McCavitt, the midfielder who came off of the bench in yesterday's game. He is in talks with the team who did just beat us there in the Bally McCash Rangers also. You might have seen it earlier in the FM Diary Part intro of today's episode, but we did lose one other player on a free transfer. That was one of our backup goalkeepers in Ross Matea. Decent prospect as well. So that's the reason I do think we should, at the very least, go after another backup goalkeeper in the loan market. And also, we might see if we can find someone as suggested by our director of football, because so far, he's been doing a good job in identifying some loan targets, which otherwise, we might not be able to see. Hopefully, he can bring us a few more players who might just improve the overall level of the squad. But I'm actually fairly happy with things here at the moment. Hopefully, we can have a decent first season here at the club and see where that takes us going into the second season of FMOE. But unfortunately, we do suffer our first defeat of the save. But as I said, didn't play that badly. And it's going to be interesting to see how things do play out in between now and when we do come back for our next episode, which I think is going to be that interesting matchup with the two teams who we did have job interviews with as we take on Dundalla in the third round of the Northern Irish League Cup. If you did enjoy today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also remember to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. And until next week, Tuesday morning New Zealand time, Monday afternoon UK time for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.